Exposing the secrets of the black community. So we're going to expose secrets of the black community and we're going to do some shame on the black community in an effort for the black community to get better. An effort for the children to realize how this stuff got the way it is and things can get better. So let's start with this. Black men intimidated by anybody that's not not childish black men get really intimidated by anybody now I understand coons do coonish stuff but let's dig with the childish dudes in our community we're not talking about just hood dudes there are some mature hood dudes Let's be clear about that. But childish dudes, want to be seen dudes, anything for money dudes. So let me say it one more again. Childish dudes, attention seeking dudes, anything for a dollar dudes. These are the worst dudes in the hood. They are the worst dudes, period. Because... It's, it's constant immaturity. It's just constant. We were in a discussion the other day about politics and business. And this one guy, his parents are from South America. Every time he got on the microphone, you dudes, you dudes, y'all stupid, y'all this, y'all that. Yet just not adding to the conversation at all. We sit up here, pass the mic around. Other people are bringing up political points. Uh, other people are being fair. It's not an echo chamber. It gets back to this South American dude. He looks black, though. He looks dark-skinned black, but he's South American. Yeah, you guys will never get that. And get it. just more insults, more insults. Six times this dude spoke, and it was all about insults. There was nothing strategic. There was no sign of maturity, just childish insults, looking for a fight, looking for an argument. And the other three of us was like, dude, I don't even know why you're here. You're not going to trigger us. You're just being childish and petty. All you've done is insults. But guess what? That South American guy who looks like a dark-skinned black man had a suit and tie on. So this mentality I talk about, it's not just hood. It's childish, anything for a dollar, seeking attention. A lot of these dudes just want to be seen. They don't know how it is to go in places of power and force places of power to change. Somebody said to me, they said, man, why do you, why do you stay at that position? I said, yeah, because... They're uncomfortable because they can't control me. And mind you, I'm really not trying to seek war with them. But they got to learn that they can't just disrespect people. And see, that's the problem. We got so many dudes who don't have the warrior mentality because they're like, I just want to get I just want to get my money. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. I applaud you. You got way more money than me. I get it. But there still has to be some type of policy change. Even if, th This is why so many black men isolate themselves away from the world. You isolate yourself as a trucker. You isolate yourself as a laptop worker. You isolate. And then you, you coexist with the world. And the world is like, ha, tuh. And you're like, what the hell? But you haven't been in the actual fight. You've just been making money in a silo, in a cylinder. You haven't left your echo chamber. And these are some of the things that in the comment section. Tell me if you disagree. I'd love to hear it. Peace.